question number three, and this is going to start with Kevin this time. Kevin, the city's five-year financial plan goes from a surplus in the most recent fiscal year to a forecast deficit this year and growing over to two million annually by fiscal year 2022. Expenditures are forecasted to grow faster than revenue. How do you propose that the city balance the budget going forward? Kevin. Well, let's be clear. I don't have a good answer for that right away. That's really tough. Well, let's be clear. I don't have a good answer for that right away. That's really tough. The fact is, though, we have some terrific staff and we have some terrifically engaged public servants in Novato who are working on this problem, this challenge right now. <coughs> I've, I've actually looked at a number of documents. It's, uh, it's crazy how much we have to look at in terms of our bureaucracy, in terms of our ability to do things in City Hall, in the administrative apparatus of government. And working with those documents, I've come up with some ideas which I think are going to work. And I will suggest them to all kinds of people, including the voters who will ultimately make a choice here. But one of the things that we need to do is look hard at increasing revenue from our existing retail, our existing, um, where we get most of our money from in Novato. At the same time, we're looking for smart ways to bring in more revenue. A lot of people have questions about how we're going to get uh, uh, three hotels up and running in a couple of years, what kind of retail we're going to bring in, whether or not there's going to be more housing downtown. All of these things are part of the matrix for balancing the budget, bringing in more revenue, and getting back to cost of living, bringing down the cost of living.